Instructors often require learners to use peer-reviewed articles in their research. In this video, you will learn how peer review works. We sometimes rely on the experiences of others when we make decisions about how to spend our money. For example, we might look for a review online before trying a new restaurant, seeing a movie, or making an expensive purchase. In scholarly publishing, reviews work similarly. Publishers often rely on the feedback of experts to decide whether they will publish new research in their journal. This process is called peer review. Peer reviewed journals may also be called refereed. It is important to know that not all scholarly journals are peer reviewed, but we'll go into more detail about that later. Here's how the peer review process works. A researcher, sometimes a professor or a student, submits their research to a scholarly journal for possible publication. Identifiable information is removed from the research document and it is distributed to other experts in the same field. These experts either recommend publication, often with changes, or they do not recommend it. Their opinion is extremely important to the editor or editorial board of that journal. These opinions are important for a variety of reasons, each of them different depending on the journal and its discipline. At the minimum, peer review can help determine if the research is within the scope of the journal, if the methodology is sound, and if the topic addresses a gap in the existing literature. Finally, peer review can help the original authors improve their work. This video has been a brief introduction to the peer review process of scholarly journal articles.